Hello everyone, in previous video we checked how to create the database and also we added our connection string into our code. If you don't know how to add this connection string, please go ahead and watch the previous video. Now when you go to your form design, in this solution explorer you can double click on this your form, form name and then you can go into this button double click on it here we can scroll into button click event method okay now then this else statement we can uh, use to create our SQL connection now before that we had to import some classes available in system we can say using system dot data and then semicolon the last one using system dot data dot SQL client but there's a problem the problem is if you go back back to your code then try to say SQL connection you might see that this is uh, not found like uh, let me read the error for you the name is SQL connection does not exist in the current context all right now uh, if I say con is equals to new SQL connection you will see similar the wait uh, the type or name space name SQL connection could not be found are you missing uh, blah 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 how we can fix this for a while we can just uh, comment this code out and then you have go into the solution explorer tab okay find it and then right click on your project name then go to this uh, manage nuget packages here in this browse section you have to select that this browse section you have to type uh, system dot data dot sql client then you will see this suggestions official package from microsoft select it and then click install it will be installed you had uh, install these packages click ok then you had to accept their license right it uh, been installed ok installed now we can cross this here we can uncover these cards and I will set uh, let uh, me code again SQL connection you can see it is available now okay now I will say con is equals to new SQL connection and then parenthesis and then semicolon right now I will say con dot SQL connection variable name con dot connection string capital C connection and S4 string is capital now I will set this equals to our connection string that we build here in the top connection string connection underscore string we set this equals to connection underscore string and then semicolon all right and the next thing we had to do connection dot open and then parentheses now uh, to check to show and uh, to determine whether this connection is success or not I'm going to just say a message box let's say uh, 
message box dot show inside parentheses I will say connection succeeds whatever whatever it is fine I cannot uh, see my mouse because that's what the issue like now we can say can dot close make sure when you open your connection you have to close that similar when you opening it now we can just uh, go ahead and run to see this is working or not we cannot keep empty fields for both of at least uh, one text field is empty it will show us an error then I will enter some random stuff because we don't have any login credentials available in our database connection success message came okay now connection part has been completed and in the next video I will add my table okay now I will see in the next lesson thank you very much